This time, we will continue on measure 21. Left hand first. Left hand starts with A minor 7th chord. So A minor 7 is A, E, and G. Your 7 means you're adding 7th note from the G. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Literally, you add one more note 7th apart from the A. So A minor 7, A, E, G, E, G, E. We will play so many times A minor chord in this second session, so you have to know. The next one is B flat chord. But we play B flat, the fifth one, and then going stepping up like this. We have two choice of fingerings here. You can use first one, five, two, one, after that, three, two. Or you can use five, three, two, one, use all the three, two, one, after that, just going up. It really doesn't matter which finger you use, just decide which one is easier. Play it. See which one is easier for you and choose one and write it down on your note and keep practice the same finger over and over again. Now I will start with five, two, one, three, two. And the next measure is again A minor. So this one literally. Next one chord is again B flat chord. So I will use the same finger five, two, one, three. After that, it's the same chord as before, but adding D this time instead of just playing B. So add D here. Move it on to the next line, measure 25. Again, A minor chord. minor 7th chord and next measure is E flat so E flat and then changing another chord within a measure same measure so in this measure you change twice so from E flat to C 7th chord C G B so that's the chord we're breaking up to F again. We played many times F, right? At the, uh, at the first part. Now, moving on to the measure 29, left hand. Start with the B flat chord, but B flat is like this. B, D, F, but starting with the F instead of B. So move this F here. Then D, F, D, F, and step down and going back to F again. It's just from the F chord, you just move middle note one up. These two are staying the same. So remember, F is staying the same, only the middle note is from C to D. This is B flat chord, that's F chord. Okay, so if you're looking at the measure 29, B flat, so D, we play it. to F, so instead of D, coming down to C, and then going back to B flat, and then coming back to F again, and this time instead of ending an F, and an A to make different sound. Starting on page 3, measure 33, left hand, A minor again, A, E, A, E, and this time to G and make it 7th chord. And next to measure, left hand, B flat chord. So B, F, G. Up to here is almost the same. And switching to A finger number 2. And this time, we are adding 3 notes at the end. So B flat, G, F. I will play it on this finger so that we can connect nicely. Otherwise, if you lift it long, then it will be disconnected. Then sound will be very bumpy. So 
Try to use this finger. I guess this is the best one to connect. And the following chord is C sus chord, C sus four. I I will explain it later on my lesson. But sus is from the C wing of fourth note. C chord is like this, and then you built it up from the C one two three four note, and then play a chord. That's the C sus four. C F B. Down to C, E, B. So what's the difference? First note and end notes just stay the same. The middle note change from F to E. So remember that way. And another F chord. And another B flat chord, but playing in an F. Do you remember? Just middle note only shifting up. Measure is D F B and coming down to F chord. So you see from here, and slide it down thumb. And next to line, measure forty one, left hand, G seventh chord, G D F, and then the next note is the top note F is the same. Are staying, bottom goes down to E. So remember always there is one or two notes at least the same staying. So don't try to look for all the notes. Instead, just check the changing notes. And the next one is F, but this time instead of F, you play at an A. Where does this A come from? The middle note A from F chord, the missing. Third one, play it top here, and then F. The middle note changing again here, and then it goes up like this. So the fingering will be and this time again the same F, C, G, stretching, lots of stretch, and then go to C, F. And if you see, you will see the treble clap. Seems like notes are going down a lot, but it's not because it's a treble clap middle C. So middle C is here. So just coming back to the same C. And then after that, next note is D F B flat coming down to F chord again. And left hand measure forty five. It still stays in the treble clap. So it seems low, but it's just G D. F and next to note is a C F B flat and now the bottom note and the top note is tied so you don't play it again just only keep holding it and play the middle note coming down from the F to E like this and you will see the line with the fermata we call hold it longer then move play it F chord. F A C F G B flat and F G C. Now the left hand after the rest, you will see the bass clef. Means you have to move it down. Bass clef. What is the note name? E flat. So E flat here. Then D F B and coming down to F chord. So we have so many E's. The line is this chord, so you have to remember this. One. It just differences well you play it. Then the following page, page four, measure forty nine, left hand G seventh chord, so G D F, and next to note is C F B flat, and again these two are tied, and the middle note 
is changing only like this, same as the previous line. And the last two measure is last two measures are F C F G A C and then right after that you will play with your right hand F G A C so actually G A C you see it you play the same note and then again the same thing F G and right hand will play it A and F at the end now, so practice left hand couple of times and add right hand. Now this time, let's play it right hand together. Measure 21, left hand A minor chord, and right hand is E and C. I will count the eighth note as one to make it easy. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, Four, and then E bottom note and then left hand is G one two one two now keep holding the top on right hand and slide it down your thumb like this and left hand B flat chord two, three, four. and then matching again D E F and then now D but it's far so you can just go leave it and go and next to note is E and C left hand a minor chord again one two one two again the same thing thumb goes down left hand b flat chord this time adding one more note so you have to leave later only so that your left hand will be ready to play it f g a b and right hand is E and C, left hand goes to A minor chord again. Five, four, three, two, one. So you're just coming down all the way to C, B flat, A, G, F. Left hand, D minor chord. Right hand step up G, left hand E flat chord. And then keep holding the right hand because it's a whole note. And then you will see another half note stems down. It's adding E here and left hand C seventh chord. And stepping up to A and F and A, left hand F chord. line starts again but right hand plays octave instead of one note so just a c e f maybe you have to practice right hand alone for this one you don't have to play it fast just don't rush and then b flat d b flat left hand i mean right hand and left hand is f and then B flat playing it again the bottom the one more time one two one two and slide it down thumb again and left hand plays F chord and then much with this last note play it melody and we're stepping up G B G you can play it all these notes you can just play it only the octave. That's fine. If you can play it, add it, then note, it would be sound better. But if not, that's fine. Just leave it. You can just play it. That's good enough, too. But I will end it this time. Two, one, two. And left hand F again. Melody. And the same thing, you can play just octave. Or if you can do it, yeah, edit E. That would be better. But if not, then just play octave. That's fine. An octave. Step down, down to F, left hand B flat chord. Two, and this time left hand 
has three notes. Do you remember? B flat, G, F. And right hand goes to B flat. Down, down, and C, E, C. The same thing. You can play octaves or adding the one more note is fine. Both way. slow but don't worry that's right one two and then it will come back to c seventh chord soon so it's okay and f chord again and it repeats back and then right hand b flat chord theirs and then two is already here too so don't lift your hand stay close F E this time your left hand comes thumb slide it down and play it F chord and right hand B flat left hand G chord one two now left hand the top note is the same and the bottom will be B flat and C do you remember and the right hand is A octave it changing two times so this part is kind of confusing so you have to take it out this part only and practice a couple of times I will move it on This is actually the originally was A here, but since we have octava sign, you go up higher. And then coming to F and left hand, E, F, B flat, F, E, left hand plays F chord, and B flat and left hand. right hand A and G A and F right hand left hand also F chord one two and F again F G B flat and F again and right hand comes down so actually the same A you play it right hand A G and left hand goes down to E flat One, two, right hand the same F but changing to finger number three so that you can go down. And then left hand, F chord, A, and right hand B flat chord, I mean B flat note, left hand G, D, F, two count, and left hand C, F, B flat, the same, this B flat, and right hand goes to A. right hand I mean left hand keep holding the bottom note and top note and just only place the E right hand G goes to A and F right hand left hand A F and C right hand and play it A and F just drop soft and you have to leave to your hands and your pedal at the same time 
Now, I'll talk about the pedal this time. When you play pedal for this song, keep change every measure. So you have to, it means you have to keep holding for whole entire measure. Even if the note is changing, that's okay, just keep holding and then change. change every measure but there are exception when in a measure if the chord is changed twice then you have to change the pedal especially if you're looking at measure 25 E flat and C seventh chord and F chord changing three times in a two measures then you have to lift E flat down and after C lift it up change Places like that if you see it like measure 27 or measure 35 yeah when the notes are changed two times then you have to change the pedals too